An unmanned Russian space rocket has crashed to Earth just seconds after launch. It was carrying three satellites meant for Russia's GLONASS global navigation system. Uh, just a bit earlier in, in the program, I discussed this uh, with RT's Medina Kochenova. Uh, she's been following the story. Well, it was quite a shocking morning for those at the Baikonur, uh, Baikonur Cosmodrome. And as you can see here on this breathtaking video, now a Russian Proton rocket, which was carrying three GLONASS satellites, just went out of control moments after launching from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Now, here you can see, well, on some of the, yeah, here you can see its horrific explosion, really. Now, the rocket split out of control, disintegrated, and the main part of the rocket just erupted into a massive fireball. Then it split it into different pieces and landed onto this inhabited area. Now, of course, we are talking now about a massive accident, and it is a rocket carrying three satellites yeah, I'm, filled I'm, with fuel. I mean, didn't, you bring up you bring up the point. I mean, not not just these three GLONASS satellites, but also right. the fact that ultimately this rocket is absolutely full to the brim of rocket fuel. Just a couple of seconds into launch, it blasts off, uh, as, as we can see right here, the trajectory goes awry seconds into, in, into the launch. Horrific, you talk about the really. environmental impact here, Medina. I mean, certainly there are spectators within a kilometer or two of the launch area. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Absolutely, Rory. We are talking about a massive environmental impact from this accident. Now, just imagine this rocket here, just a couple of seconds into launching, exploding so fast after it, and it was filled with fuel. Now, some experts say that in total, it was carrying up to 500 tons of fuel plus three satellites, also fueled, uh, filled with fuel, but toxic fuel. Ultimately, though, when you, when you talk about uh, the, the history of the Russian space program, all in all, for the most part, it's very, very successful. However, this is not the first time it's happened, though, is it? Yes, indeed. The sad news is that it is not the first failure of this type of rocket. Now, the program has suffered a number of failures in the past two and a half years, and I have to point out here two accidents. Now, first, back in 2010, there uh, was uh, there was one failure also connected with three other navigation satellites, and these navigation satellites were lost. They disintegrated into the Pacific Ocean. Now, experts blame at that time, the fail, the fuel miscalculation that prevented the machine from reaching the orbit. And of course, there was another failure back in 2011. Here I'm talking about the failure of the Progress rocket. Now, when part of the Progress rocket reached the Earth, now witnesses said at that time that the explosion could be heard within 100 kilometers. I would just give you some figures. The single launch of the Proton. Um, Proton M rocket cost $100 million. And now experts estimate that the failure of this project, the one that we are seeing right now in this horrific video, uh, costs up to $200 million in loss.